In this video, we'll take a look at how to create an animated banner using Photoshop CC. So let's go ahead and go to File New and we'll create a new document. Let's say our banner is going to be 320 pixels wide by 240 pixels tall. And since this is going to be on the web, our resolution will be 72 and our color mode will be RGB. So here's our banner. Now the next thing we want to do is locate the timeline. So we'll go to Window, Timeline. You should have this little palette down here. And we can go ahead and create a video timeline. If we click down here on this little icon in the bottom left, we can change this to frame mode. So we have our first frame of our animation. So you may want to use this to advertise different things on your website or show off your artwork, whatever you want to use this for. I'm going to go ahead and make this a banner that's going to promote some of my artwork on my Etsy page. So I'll want to go ahead and bring in some image assets, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and group this layer here, and we'll call this group one. This will be for the first frame. Each of our frames are going to have their own group. So for the first frame, I'm going to bring in a piece of artwork. I'm just going to drag it from my window onto Photoshop here. Then I can scale this up. I'm going to hold shift while I scale. And if I hold alt and shift, I can scale it from the center while keeping it in proportion. And then we'll need to go ahead and move that down into that number one group there. And then there's our first frame. So let's go ahead and create a new frame to create a second image frame here. And we'll create a new layer and we'll group that into a group that's called two. And we'll hide the eyeball that's next to the one layer here. So we'll hide that frame. So now if we go back to frame one, we'll need to do that for the second frame as well. So now we have a two frame animation. One is the first image, one is the second image that we haven't put in yet. So let's go ahead and put that in. Make sure the eyeball's turned on for that second frame. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control T and scale this up just like I did with the last image. So we have our second frame. Let's create a third frame. We'll create a new layer, put it in its own group and drag in an image and hide the frame that came before it. And you'll have to just go back and make sure that you have the right frame showing each time. And we can test our animation here. We have three frames. You can add as many frames as you want. The only issue is you have to export this as a GIF or GIF file, which has a limited color palette. So the more images you add, the more colors you could potentially add. So it's better to keep this kind of small and with images that have similar colors. Otherwise, you're going to run into some trouble later because the colors might change a little bit. Also, you don't want the file size to be too large. Otherwise, it'll take a while for people to download. Generally speaking, GIFs are supposed to be relatively small in file size. I'm going to create a fourth frame. You can also select multiple frames by holding Shift and selecting a range of frames. And you can make edits to a range of frames. And let's add a final frame with some text. We'll call this layer background, and we'll go ahead and fill it with black. And then let's add some text to that frame using the text tool. I'm gonna to select white, because that'll show up really good on the black. And I'm gonna put in something about my artwork and how to find it on Etsy. Now, I prefer to size text using free transform rather than setting a point size manually. You can hit Control T on your keyboard, and then you can hold Alt while holding Shift to scale from the center. And then if you hold Alt and drag, you can also drag a clone of that text, and if you hold shift, it'll keep it aligned on that vertical axis. That's a good way to quickly add more text in, keeping the same formatting that you had before. I'm gonna free transform that and make it a little bit smaller and move it up while holding shift. You can also nudge with the arrow keys on your keyboard. Hold alt and drag while holding shift to drag a clone, and I'm gonna put in the link to the Etsy page. And we'll need to make that a little bit smaller like so, and maybe we'll add something to the background just to make it look a little more interesting. I'm gonna dim the opacity of this layer just to blend it into that black so it doesn't stand out so much. And now let's set the timing on our frames. We probably don't want these all to be five seconds. So let's go ahead and change these to something more like maybe two seconds. And the last frame we can keep kind of long at five seconds. Now we want to have our animation loop, so rather than once, let's change this to forever. And let's go ahead and test it by clicking the play button. This is how it will look in real time. 
and then the last frame holds for a little while to give people time to go ahead and write down the address or enter it in, and then it just loops again. You can tweak this timing to suit your preference. Click the stop button, and when you're ready to go ahead and export this, go ahead and save it. You can save this composition as a PSD and then make a copy for the web by choosing Save for Web. You'll want to choose the GIF format or GIF depending on how you want to say it. You can also choose presets here. We could choose GIF 128 dithered. If you choose something with a lower amount of colors, it's going to remove colors from the image and make it look funny. So let's try that real quick. Let's choose GIF 32 dithered. You can see if we look at this first frame here, it's very, very compressed. It looks like a very old school internet image. Nowadays, there's no reason to really compress things that much that are full color. So we could choose something like 128, and then it still looks pretty good. We'll just go through all the frames just to make sure. I think that looks acceptable. So I'll go ahead and click Save. And then to test the banner, you want to just drag it into your browser. I'm using Firefox here and it should play. You could also just add it to your website and test it that way. So there you go, that's how you can quickly create an animated banner for your artwork using Photoshop CC. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, you can click my subscribe button to get free updates when I release new tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Thursday for a new Photoshop tutorial.